I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. <clears throat> And people really seem to like the fact that there was banter between us. At the same time, there's definitely some stuff that's lost doing a stream like that. So I like to talk with you guys about that so we can maybe try to figure out the happy medium. All right. This is the first time I did a stream like that. So I definitely want to, you know, discuss room for improvement, stuff like that. Okay. But also the other big topic today is going to be a follow up on all of these false copyright issues on YouTube. Essentially, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, People are, well, people have been saying for years and years now, this is not a new thing, that people have been impersonating me on YouTube and issuing false DMCA takedown requests against various pieces of content, whether it's uh, videos on YouTube, streams on YouTube, posts on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, and, and other stuff too. And I keep telling everyone, I'm never involved in it. I have nothing to do with it. I don't have time for that shit. I don't care. Like, most content that people make on YouTube of me is fair use you understand that i would argue the only stuff that's not fair use could be a live restream because then you're literally giving away my stream 100 percent in its entirety for free and you're not really transforming it you're just talking over it live which isn't allowed that would be the equivalent of oh a new movie just released stream the whole movie and talk over it you can't do that you see you have to have a limited amount of editing or a limited amount of content shown or else you're basically redistributing that illegally. But even then, you know, I'm not even arguing that. That's not the point here. What I'm telling you is I haven't at all done any takedown requests against the people who are saying that I have. I'm not involved in it whatsoever. And over the years, every once in a while, we have this discussion again. And I say, it's not me. I don't know why you think it's me. I keep telling you YouTube system is broken. They just grant anything because it's automated and it's stupid and it gets fooled all the time. And I even went last year, I had an hour-long conversation with YouTube support. I documented it. I have the conversation saved. And at the end of the conversation, here's what YouTube told me. You have no legal responsibility to do anything about it because if you say you're not doing it, then you can't reverse it or take it down because you're not involved. The people who are being false stricken need to have legal counsel and contact us. That's actually what they said. And I said, so you're literally saying that if you want someone to get help with false takedowns, you want them to have a lawyer contact you or even sue you. And they didn't say that. They said, oh, no, not sue, but have a lawyer contact us. So according to YouTube, and this was right on them. I have this document. I saved this conversation just in case it ever came up again, okay? If you need help with a false DMCA, pay thousands of dollars to get a lawyer just to talk to them. Otherwise, they don't care and they won't help you at all. That's what they told me, okay? So my hands are off. I have nothing I can do. I've tried, all right? The thing is, it persists. People tell me all the time that they're still getting false strikes and stuff. Um, now, some people are nicer about it. They'll contact me and be like, hey, is there anything you can do? Can you, can you confirm or deny if this was you? And, you know, and other people are just complete scumbags about it. And they're like, oh, how dare you? It's either you or it's one of your friends or someone associated with you doing it and you obviously condone it and we're going to sue you and we're going to do this and that. And I'm always like, these people are so unhinged. Like, again, I have nothing to do with it. YouTube outright stated, I can't help it. I have it in writing. There's nothing that can be done against me at all because I'm not doing it. If anything, it would have to be you sue YouTube for damages or whatever it is for their broken copyright system. I'm literally not involved. I can't do anything about it, right? So the, the threats being thrown at me are so ridiculously frivolous and stupid. I mean, you have to be a moron to threaten me because I'm not involved in it, okay? And in fact, I hate to say it, the reason why all this is happening is because of malicious uh, activity towards me over the years. If people didn't idiotically dox my address, dox my phone number, dox all my personal information and put it on the internet, no one would be able to do a false copyright claim in my name. But these morons, a decade ago, as soon as I moved out here, they doxed me and put my address on the internet. The moment that they found out my phone number but through a, uh, a web host, they put that out there. So that's what happens. It's like, you know what I say? You play with the bull, you get the horns. That's, that's, people are going to use this shit 
to do whatever they want because you put it out there, right? So, I have an update on this this morning. You might be saying, why are you talking about it particularly today? Well, first of all, apparently there's been a big wave of it going on again because, again, I got more threats. I keep getting threats. I'm getting fucking DMs and fucking emails and shit everywhere. Oh, I'm going to get I'm gonna get you. It's going to spite you. And I'm not doing it. I don't know what you expect from me. I've already contacted YouTube. They won't do anything about it. I mean, you know, I'm... What do you want the person who's not involved in the process and told outright you can't help to do to help? I, I just don't know. Well, guess what? I actually did get a piece of information from YouTube. I got contacted about one of these takedown requests. It's the first time I've ever seen this happen. So I want to be transparent about it. Now, here's the thing. People might say, well, what are you doing this for? Aren't you, are you helping your trolls? Would this possibly help trolls? Maybe. But. This isn't about helping anyone. This is about doing what's right. A crime is being committed, all right? Someone is doing identity theft and fraud, all right? And it needs to stop. It doesn't matter who it benefits or, or whatever. What matters is that outright things that are against the law stop happening. That's what the concern is for me. I don't want crimes to be committed. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> So, I'm going to go ahead and show you some stuff this morning about something I received. I'll explain. However, sadly, I feel like this is a one-off situation, and I don't know if this is representative of what's really been happening, or maybe it is. Maybe this is actually going to give us evidence of what's been going on all along. I don't know, but we'll get to that, okay? Okay. So, undoubtedly now, this podcast will have more viewership, and you're going to have all my trolls re-watching it and everything because they're going to want to know what the hell I'm talking about. You know, we'll see. I mean, again, I, I'm a transparent guy when it comes to this shit. I have nothing to do with it, and I want it to end, but I, I don't know what else I can do to help when YouTube has stonewalled me. They refuse to listen, all right? Okay, so, first off, before we... Hello, everyone. Dark Side Phil here. The only detractor channel that I watch is Doody Streams. 